let's talk about re-renders in react what they are and why are they important at all to talk about so what is a re-render a re-render is when you have a react component that has some data and we also have some ui that is showing that data now when this data changes the ui also has to update to reflect the new data changes so if data goes from zero to one the ui should also go from zero to one and that causes a re-render so a re-render is ui catching up with data changes re-renders are important they're necessary we have to have them in order to have a reactive app but too many re-renders can cause huge problems for our apps it can cause laggy ui so if we scroll down it's not going to be as snappy as it should be it's going to give us unstable fps and it's going to drain a lot of power from our phones and it's going to take more cpu power to do the same thing that an optimized application wouldn't need as much so there's very 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 bad things happening when you have lots of re-renders and you might think that this is not common right that this doesn't happen it only happens to juniors it only happens to people that not all, don't know how to write react but i'm going to show you with this package here with react scan we can diagnose some applications and your application too and show you that it happens more than you think react scan can be found on github too you can read upon the documentation how to add it to your app to test out if you have any performance issues but i want to go to twitter to aiden's profile here he is the creator of react scan and this is how react scan works you can see that each time a re-render happens this purple box appears on the components that cause the re-render and i want to show you some things some examples here that i should save in the sidebar this is github and this was github before they fix this the performance issues you can see how many re-renders are being caused on scroll which is insane right you wouldn't think that this would happen from such a huge company but then again we have open ai and open ai re-renders their entire page including the header and everything else when you get output from gpt which is really surprising right even from the engineers at github and the engineers from open ai this should not be happening we also have Pinterest, which re-renders images on scroll. And there's lots and lots and lots of re-renders that are draining your battery and causing lags and older phones really can't keep up. We also have Slack, which re-renders the sidebar when you type. I don't know why, but it also does. And that's why it takes a long time to boot everything up and then to use it. It doesn't feel smooth. And the final thing that I want to show you from Aiden here is infinite re-rendering on this input here. I don't know which site from Apple this is, but this causes infinite re-renders. So you're, you're not doing anything and it just re-renders, which is not a good practice. You want to avoid this. Now, I didn't, I didn't sh show these examples to bash on the engineers that made this because it's completely fine. It happens, there's deadlines, There's. it's hard to work on a huge team like they have been working. But I'm trying to show you the power that React Scan has. You can measure what's happening with your application. And this is a very good thing that correlates to my previous videos. If you can use an application and show that it has performance problems with React Scan, and you can fix those problems, you have just measured a huge impact that you contributed to the team or to yourself or to anyone else that's using the application. So React Scan is a very powerful tool. And before we finish this, I want to quickly go to the open AI example. This is GitHub open AI example. Most of these problems are caused by prop trailing and sharing too much data between, too much reactive data between components. That's mostly causing all of these problems on these sites. Also, I can't diagnose all the sites, but the, this this one for Pinterest is unique. But for OpenAI, I'm, I'm guessing that is. So what you should do is get React Scan. You can just link this script here in your app and test it out. See if there's a difference. See if your app is performing well and see if you can fix it. And if you can, Please tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear that because performance is something that we strive for as engineers. We don't like bloat and unnecessary re-renders. And until next time, bye.